priority as a government and mine as a minister is to see raised achievement for all in measurable ways. That is what we are focused on doing. We have about 33 months left to do it. I feel a great uh, urgency to get on and make gain, and I want to instill in us that same urgency, which was also part of the Whaikōrero um, this morning. Our agencies in the sector, as I've said, are also seized of, or about to be seized of, that urgency and the need to collaborate to reinforce what value we can offer to all of you. Um, ko tērā te tahi pātai, ko tuku mai kia tātou, he pātai um, nui, he pātai hohonu, he pātai ka pātai tātou kia tātou, uh, i ngā wā ka hui ai tātou. Ko tērā pātai, heaha te mea nui o te ao. Nā, ko te whakahoki, he tangata, he tangata, he tangata. Engari, ko tuku pātai kia tātou, heaha te mea nui o te ao, kei rotu i te ao, mā tauranga, uh, ko tētahi o ngā, ko etahi o ngā whakahoki, uh, i runga nō i ngā reta, ka tuk, tuku mai kia au, i runga nō i ngā kōrero a tēnā reo a tēnā reo, ko ngā tangata e hanga whare kura, ko ngā tangata tarai wa pahi ki te kura, ko ngā hea mana o ngā puari me o ngā kaitiaki, ko ngā tumuaki o ngā kura, ko ngā kaiako o ngā kura, a tērā pia ko koutou, ngā kōka, ngā pāpa, ngā tīpuna, ne, rō te wā, ka tataria hau te rongo, heaha te mea nui o te ao mātauranga, ko te akonga, ko te pepi, ko hunga hunga, ko tiro tamatāne, ko te tauira, ko te akonga. Mai i te ata ki te pō, mai i te mane ki te rā tapu, mai i te tīmatanga o te tau ki te mutunga o te tau, koera ko te akonga, te tino tangata, te tino mea nui o te ao mātauranga. Koera taku whakahoki ki tērā pātai. And so I think that we must have an unambiguous, unequivocal, learner-centred education system with an unrelenting focus on raised achievement. Yes, it is important that we hear about properties and prefabs. Yes, in fact, often parents are moved to protest and bus to Wellington to protest about their school gym or their school swimming pool or their school prefab. I would love it if we wanted to bust to Wellington to talk about maths quality or literacy quality or the curriculum resources that will raise achievement. I would love it if we had protests outside classrooms because we were concerned about the quality of learning occurring in our schools. I hear far too often about buildings and buses and wheeze and all of those yes inputs, they are dimensions of our provision for education. But the purpose of the education system is our learners. That's who I want to hear about. That's what I want to be focused on. That's who I want to work with you to see achievement raised for and with. So how do we do that together? We do have different roles, but they are complementary ones. We do have excellent components of a world-class system here in Aotearoa, New Zealand. We have had, for nearly 25 years, autonomous, self-managing boards of schools. This is a feature that other countries in the world look at and think, how radical, we might want to try that. And we've had it for nearly 25 years. That doesn't mean that everything about that particular feature is fabulous and effective. As with all of us as we age, and I look around here and I see many and I think, do I know that person? Oh, that is Martin Timoni. <laughs> 
We do age and so do our systems and so do our provisions and that means that we have to constantly ask, is this fit for purpose for a 21st century? Are the governance arrangements we have in whole or in part exactly what we need to take our um, learning transformation into the 21st century and if not, what kinds of refinements or modifications should we be looking at? So boards pay a very important part. Principals. Principals are the professional leaders of their learning community. And their role is critical. They need to lead the discussion about education, about what the evidence says about what will make the difference, about how they get the best out of their teaching staff, how they get focused as a microcosm on raising achievement, not for some students, not for many students, but for all students. So the role of the principal as the professional leader is absolutely critical. The role of the learning facilitator, of the teacher, in the learning connection, in the classroom, in the playground, out in the tayol, on the waka, where safety and security of the students has been well planned for. Wherever that learning um, experience takes place, it is also essential that the teacher has a really good practice, one of a set, informed by assessment, their professional judgment, constant feedback, iteration and collaboration with their peers within their school and outside of their school so that they, in their connection with our learners, can make magic. So teachers are an incredibly important part of our educational landscape. Parents, family, whānau, ainga, tipuna, papa, koka, all of you and us, we are an incredibly important part of the education landscape. What we expect of our kids, what we expect of ourselves, what we say, but more importantly what we do, really makes the difference to the attitude and mindset of our young people and of the teachers, principals and boards who need to know about, be aware of, be accountable for your interests and concerns and expectations of your children. The Ministry of Education and our other uh, sector agencies, they have a key role to play. They operate many levers of the system. They have a responsibility to constantly be seeking greater value and um, exponential leverage of working with each other and driving each other to collaboratively and competitively get better and better. And I have a role to play. I have a role to play of being the chief advocate, the champion, the pusher, the challenger, the facilitator, the seeker of resources, um, the arguer for what we need in order to get this system to kick up a notch to deliver what it has always had the potential to deliver even more. And um, we are spending the most ever in vote education. In the areas for which Dr Sharples and I have responsibility, and by the way, there are two other associates, um, we have so much work on our plate these three years, I've been assigned three men. So I have um, Dr Sharples, who will um, drive in the Māori education area, my colleague Craig Foss, who will take care of properties, buses and infrastructure, I made the a conscious decision that I would not delegate special education as has traditionally happened. Um, I will keep special education, but I will and have delegated to the capable hands of my colleague Craig Foss properties, buses and infrastructure so that 
while recognising they play a critical part, we shouldn't drive education outcomes because this is where the school network is or this is where I did have the most amusing, but I can see how frustrating it was, story told to me by a principal whose colleague schools down the line shut earlier than hers did. And when she inquired, knowing how many half days they'd also done, uh, why this was happening, it was because the buses had stopped running. So you see, it wasn't the principals or the boards who were determining how to ensure that our kids were getting their full quota of education, it was whether the buses were running or not. So these matters, important and critical though they are, they are part of a portfolio that is about support, not leadership, of the education sector. And my third um, colleague, manservant, um, is uh, the Associate Minister um, John Banks, the Honourable John Banks, and he is charged with the exciting challenge of looking at another model that may drive greater performance. Now, two schools, two charter schools, are going to be established, and that is uh, in the context of two and a half thousand other schools. So, chicken licken, the sky is not going to fall down. We have a range of options already in our provision, and many of them, as the iwi, um, chairs, uh, iwi leaders' paper made clear, have been initiatives driven by Māori. So whether the model of kōhanga reo, or the model of kura kaupapa, or the model of whare wānanga, or the model of tai wānanga, these are all initiatives that are different from um, other parts of mainstream provision. But we in New Zealand are demanders of choice and of quality, and that comes by many pathways. So in vote education, uh, what I have found, regrettably, as many of us do in our own homes, that the budget is pretty fixed. Almost 90% of it is fixed. That means that there is no flexibility or very little flexibility to change how we do things because these are demand-driven costs. So nearly 40% of the budget is invested in the profession in paying the salaries of our principals and teachers. And that size of investment reflects exactly the importance and the value of what the profession can contribute to our educational outcomes. The next biggest item is school properties at 19%. You'll think I've got a thing about school properties. And actually I have, because here is where the learning takes place, here. Yes, we need 21st century learning spaces and they can make all the difference. They can. But the critical difference is the learning facilitator's engagement with here, here, the head. Whether it's sitting on a whariki in the whare nui, whether, well, it's always going to be sitting on your shoulders, obviously, but whether you are sitting on the whariki in the whare nui or sitting out on the grass or sitting by the takutai moana or wherever, that's where the learning connection is going on. Early childhood education commands about 16%. Now, I'm not going to talk particularly about early childhood education this morning, except to whakamihi kia ngāti hine. I te rawa o te whakanui o Waitangi, i haere a hau ki te, um, ki te hui puaki i tō rātou um, early childhood centre, te miru miru, ki kawakawa, a tāhua, a tāhua rawatu.